Today in the rescue zoo, we are taking a look at an old friend because we are feeding Morgan the macaw who came into the rescue zoo here recently. Let's get started. Hi guys, Nico here from the rescue zoo and today we are going to uh, go meet Morgan. And well, we're going to meet Lena our amazing keeper, well one of our amazing keepers, and we are going to the birdhouse. And uh, the birdhouse is always a noisy, <laughs> a noisy thing. We tried to do the interview inside of the birdhouse, which were not possible in any way or form, so we had to do it outside afterwards. Um, but it's so nice to see how well Morgan is doing, and he is definitely still a trickster, definitely still um, <laughs> going first in rounding every single bird up inside of the, the birdhouse. And uh, yeah, it, it's just amazing to see. As you know, Morgan might, well, you might remember that Morgan came from private people. He is not an illegal bird in, in that sense, but they do live a lifetime um, or the same sort of age as humans. And that can sometimes be a challenge, especially when you well, when you have them in your private home. And we always try to sort of preach here on the Play Rescue Show and the Rescue Show that you need to do your research first. I'm not saying these particular private people who had Morgan before didn't know what they are into, but in general if you get these sort of animals, especially that have higher needs than a more normal, in quotes, pet, you need, to, uh, you need to do your research, you need to make sure that you are up for the task of having them basically for the rest of your life. Else they end up here in the rescue zoo in many cases because people lives, people's lives change over time. And uh, thankfully we are able to give a lot of them a new home, but again, it's not always the case. And that's why if we can be a part of preventing it, uh, that there's going to be many of these animals sitting without a home, it, uh, it's, it's, it's a great win for us as well as much as helping the animals when they have, you know, came, come in need of a new home. But in this case, it was a great story. Morgan is doing amazing here at the rescue zoo. Just want to emphasize one thing when I say that sometimes we can't help. It's simply because, you know, we are only the staff that we are. We only have the space that we have and we only have the economy that we have, the money that we have. In general so if you guys want to help us be able to do more make sure to uh, well leave a comment down below a nice like when you watch the video or of course do a money donations to the rescue center that helps us out with taking new animals in just like Morgan but let's get started with today's episode and we're gonna meet up with Lena at the birdhouse and uh, yeah hopefully we can uh, say at least one word to each other about today's feeding um, because of all the noise of all the parrots but let's go on let's get started Hi, Lena. Hi. So, uh, who are we standing outside if people can't hear? Uh, it's the bird, birdhouse we're standing outside of. Okay, and who do we have inside the birdhouse at the moment? At the moment we have um, we have Morgan inside there, and um, all of the macaws in there, and uh, some of the uh, kakadus as well. That's what we have in there. Oh yeah, and the uh, Harry's hog, right? Uh, right, yeah, he's in there as well. And I believe one more maybe we're missing, what are they called, some of the smaller ones, or are they not in there right now? Uh, some of the parakeets yeah, are in there as well. Yeah. Uh, so general, all the birds here in the rescue, and we're also standing right next to all the new uh, middle yeah. station quarantine areas that people have yeah. been seeing on the stream here. Right, so we were in feeding Morgan today. How did that go? Well, it went really well. He was uh, being really nice today. Uh, and he was really talking and just enjoying himself. So it's not always that he's uh, want people to go in there? Uh, sometimes he can be a little bit naughty and then he's trying to bite you and trying to just get in the way of what you're doing. And then you have to be a little strict with him and tell him to go away. <laughs> okay, but everything went good today? Yeah, he was fine today. There was nothing good at all. Alright, that's good to hear. Cool, thank you Lina. Right, that was the feeding story here from the rescue zoo for today. He was uh, he was pretty calm today, he was really nice. He, he was just looking at me, he was finding it very 
I think he found the camera to be, I don't know if he found it intimidating, Daniels usually do find the camera a bit intimidating, but he seemed more curious and he seemed a lot calmer than in the way start when he got here when he was still in quarantine so it's so nice and he's doing so well with his new partner inside of the birdhouse so very happy very successful story we're gonna come back to morgan another time i hope you guys enjoyed it it was nico here from the rescue so and if you did please leave a nice uh, like comment down below and if you're watching on the sunday play rescue live show well another story is coming right up take care guys it was nico here until we see each other again bye